Hello everyone and welcome to a fresh episode of one-on-one -on -one question of SLT students. It's been a wonderful series so far and the other series was who is a science lab technologist. This new series is going to be answering some questions that have been thrown to me by SLT students. I'm bringing it up to my channel so we can discuss it and ex express it to I can share it with and share it with everybody so we can get the answers. I think it is time for me to ask for you to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and giving the thumbs up makes this video spread to other people and do not forget to click your notification bell because this is a new series and it's going to be a weekly series where i'll be sharing themes questions asked by SLT students and these questions are not going to be filtered they are going to be asked the way they were asked and they are going to be answered the way they were answered and also buttressed. The first question that I'm going to focus on is the most common questions I've been asked. And this question is, what are the MSc programs available for SLT? As we all know, the SLT is divided into various options and these various options are available in different schools. We have the chemistry option that focuses on laboratory techniques and analysis in chemistry that covers areas such as organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, analytical chemistry, physical chemistry, and so on. We have the biochemistry option that concentrates on laboratory techniques and analysis in biochemistry that focuses on topics such as molecular biology, enzymology, immunology, and bioinformatics. We now have the microbiology, microbiology option that covers areas such as medical microbiology, industrial microbiology, environmental microbiology, food microbiology, and other aspects of microbiology. Then we have physics and electronics option that covers topics such as electronics, electricity and magnetism, optics, optics, modern physics, telecoms. Then we now have environmental science that focuses on environmental biology, environmental chemistry, environmental microbiology, environmental monitoring. We have the, then there also, there's also the geology option. The geology option has them um, focus on topics such as mineralogy, protology, and geological mapping, and etc. Then we have the biology, biotechnology options. The biotechnology option focus on genetic engineering, bioprocessing, and molecular biology. We also have the food science and technology option that concentrates on food chemistry, food microbiology, food packaging, pro development, and food processing, and etc. And we also have the physiology and pharmaceutical science option that focuses on physiology, pharmaceutical analysis, pharmacology, and pharmaceutical microbiology. Then we also have the biomedical engineering that also focuses on biotechnology options and combination of biotechnology and biochemistry, sort of. Now, you see, these options are very vast in SLT. That is how vast the MSc programs to under SLT would be. I'm going to dish out some of the MSc programs that are available in this different option. It's also important to check with specific institutions on their website to know which option is available because no, not all the options are available in one school. It's usually hard to find all the options in one school. Most time, most schools have the biology, biochemistry, and physics option. Some schools have the geology option, depending on what they are focusing on. There is, and also, I also discovered that even schools that do with uh, like College of Agri or University of Agri also have the SLT, where they, where they also talk about veterinary laboratory technology. It's the science SLT is very very vast. There is even an option in some schools they have to do computer science option under the SLT. It's very essential for you to check and do your own personal research. Now let's go down to the MSc programs under these different options. I'm gonna list a few, then you'll do more research. If you have more questions, you can bring it up. I'm gonna find that particular course. Or you'll do your own personal research to, just, to find out which particular course is suitable for you. The chemistry option, you can do MSc in analytical chemistry, in organic chemistry, in inorganic chemistry, physical chemistry, medicinal chemistry. For the biochemistry option, you can do MSc in pure biochemistry, or applied biochemistry. You can also do it in pure biochemistry. You can do it in molecular biology. You can MSc in biotechn biotechnology, clinical biochemistry, genetic engineering. 
for the microbiology option, you have MSc in medical microbiology, MSc in mycology, MSc in environmental microbiology, MSc in industrial microbiology, a MSc in food microbiology, and MSc in microbial biotechnology. For the physics electronic option, you have MSc in physics, pure physics, MSc in applied physics, MSc in industrial physics, MSc in electronics, MSc in um, computer, computational physics, MSc in material science, MSc in nanotechnology. Then in the environmental science option, you can have MSc in environmental science, in environmental management, environmental um, chemistry, environmental climate change and climate change science, um, environmental policy and planning. In the geology option, you can have MSc in geology, MSc in petroleum geoscience, MSc in bioprocess engineering, MSc, MSc in environmental geology, MSc in hydro, hydrogeology, and MSc in geochemistry. For the biotechnology option, you can have MSc in biotechnology, MSc in genetic engineering, you can do your MSc in bioprocess engineering, you can do your MSc in pharmaceutical biotechnology, you can also do your MSc in bioinformatics. The MSc for, for biomedical engineering, the MSc for biomedical for MSc of biomedical engineering, the MSc for biotechnology and MSc of biochemistry can apply for these two. These two options can apply for biomedical engineering. You can even go further for MSc. You can do MSc in hematology, MSc in clinical hematology. Yes. Then for food science option, we have MSc in food science and technology, MSc in food safety and quality assurance. MSc in food biotechnology, MSc in food engineering, and MSc, and MSc in nutritional sciences. <laughs> nutritional sciences, yes. Then lastly, for the pharmaceutical science of physio physiotherapy and physiology and pharmaceutical science, we have pharmaceutical science, MSc in pharmaceutical science, MSc in pharmaceutical analysis, MSc in pharmacology, MSc in pharmaceutical biotechnology, MSc in pharmaceutical microbiology, MSc in dr drug development and design. Now, this of uh, these um, different MSc programs I have mentioned are not the only ones available under these options, but these are the ones that I could gather and for this video. I will employ you to do your own personal research. It's important to know that to note that the availability availability of these specific MSc programs may vary by institution, like I said before. And you should check with the university or the institution where they plan to pursue their where you plan to pursue your postgraduate if this is available and if it's accredited. That is very, very important. So you're not going to school and not have a result. I hope I've been able to tackle this question well and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.